this is Chicho. Now what we're going to do in this table is generate the trig table, the tri trigonometric ratios table for the special right triangles and the unit circle for the nodes uh, for the three primary trig ratios. And we're going to take a look at what those angles are in degrees and radians. Okay. Now we're going to go through this fairly fast. If you're looking for a more detailed explanation of um, or the intricacies explaining the intricacies of what's in the table i put out a video that's fairly long hour plus uh, hour and 15 minutes or so going in going through this table in detail right um, and if you want a sort of a review of what we're about to go through then there's a shorter video that uh, doesn't have any commentary generating the same table and that's sort of basically I put together so that you can review just before an exam or if you want to see how quickly you can generate the table um, because what I do tell my students is when they get their exam to you know put their name on the exam put their exam aside and grab you know the scrap paper that they have and to generate this table as quickly as possible and this isn't about memorizing this table because if you're memorizing this table then you really don't understand understand the intricacies of what's going on and um, uh, you, ca you can't appreciate it as much if you're just memorizing it if you learn how to generate it then uh, it basically means that you understand the basic concepts of trigonometry and you can deal with the more complicated problems okay so what I'm gonna do to generate this table is um, I'm gonna flip the paper like this and I'm gonna make it as big as possible so it does come out on the camera and it's okay to do like this uh, if you're writing a test as well. That way everything's big, stands out for you, right? So what we need is our unit circle, right? The coordinates are 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, and negative 1. We got two special right triangles. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 1, square root of 3, and 2. And the other one is 45, 45, and 90, 1, 1, square root of 2, right? What we have now is we're going to generate our rows. Our rows are radians, theta, and degrees, sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta, All right? Let's separate these. Now let's just go down the degrees row. We'll go across the degrees, right? That way we can set up our columns properly. So our degrees, we have zero degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60, and 90. And then as soon as we hit 90, we come back again, right, as we discussed. 90 plus 30 is 120, plus 45 is 135, um, 150, and then 180. And then we're going to add 30 to 180. We got 210, 45, 225, 240, and then 270. And then we got 300, 3. 15, 330, and 360. Okay. Now I'm just going to generate the columns so these guys are separated properly. So when we're reading them, we're not going to mistakenly read the wrong bit of info. Right? Might as well make these as even as possible, right? As neat as possible, right? So we've gone across the degrees to generate the radians, and I usually do go degrees first and then generate the radians. I don't do the way we did it for the trig ratios first and then do the radians. So for radians, zero degrees and radians is zero, 180 is pi, and then we're going multiples 
of pi basically, right? We're going to use pi to generate everything in the first quadrant, and then we're going to use the first quadrant to generate everything in the um, second, third, and fourth quadrant, right? So for 30 degrees, we divide 180 by 6, so we're going to do the same thing with pi, right? So 30 degrees is pi over 6, 45 is pi over 4, 60 is pi over 3, 90 is pi over 2, 120 is multiple of 60, so multiply 3 pi over pi over 3 by 2, so it's 2 pi over 3. 135 is multiples of 45, 1, 2, 3, so 3 pi over 4. 150 is multiples of 30, times 5, so 5 pi over 6. 210, uh, yeah, 210 is 30, so 7 pi over 6. Uh, 225 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 pi over 4. 240 is 60 times 4, so 4 pi over 3. 270 is 3 pi over 2. 300 is multiple of 60, 5 pi over 3. Right, we're always going with the biggest number that gets us to wherever we want to go, because 30 does, but you would have to reduce 10 pi over 6 to 5 pi over 3. Right? 315 is multiples of 45, so we're at 5 pi over 4 here. 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4, right? Multiples of 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 330 is multiple of 30, is 11 pi over 6. And 360 is 2 pi, right? Let's generate the sine rho right sine of zero we're here it's y so it's zero sine of 30 is 1 over 2 sine of 45 is 1 over root 2 and you can rationalize the denominator for this and write it down as root 2 over 2 sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 sine of 90 we're up here it's y so it's 1 right and the rest of this I'm going to use both my hands because all I do I just track a symmetry right you come here and you go back so you're gonna go root 3 over 2 1 over root 2 1 over 2 0 back again 1 over 2 1 over square root of 2 root 3 over 2 1 back again root 3 over 2 1 over root 2 1 over 2 and 0 okay now all we have to think about is where is sine negative? Sine is negative in the second, in the third and fourth quadrant. So from 180 to 360. So from 180 to 360, it's negative because it's y and y is negative below the x-axis. So fairly quickly, the cos column. Well, it's the inverse, the flip of the sine. But I'm going to use these guys because, well, I can use both <laughs> either way, right? Cos of 0 degrees, we're over here. It's x, so that's 1. Cos of 30 is root 3 over 2, right? Cos of 45 is 1 over root 2. And cos of 60 is this guy coming here, 1 over 2, and then 0, right? Because we're here, the x is 0, right? And then we're just going to track back again. 1 over 2, 1 over root 2, root 3 over 2, 1, back again, root 3 over 2, 1 over root 2, 1 over 2, 0, back again, 1 over 2, 1 over root 2, root 3 over 2, and 1. Now all we have to worry about is where is cos negative? Cos is negative on this side of the y-axis and the second and third quadrants. So from 180, uh, sorry, from 90 degrees to 270, it's negative. 90 degrees to 270, it's negative. Negative, 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 and zero can't be negative. Now for the 10, I'm going to use the unit circle and the special right triangles for this. And actually, I'm going to use the special right triangles and the fact that 10 is sine divided by cos, right? So 10 of 0, at the nose, I'm going to use sine divided by cos. Sine of 10 of 0 is sine divided by cos. 0 over 1 is 0. 
10 of 30 degrees is 1 over root 3. And again, you can rationalize the denominator to, for this, and it becomes root 3 over 3. Right. 10 of 45 is 1 over 1, which is 1. 10 of 60 is root 3 over 1, which is root 3. And then we're at a node. 1 divided by 0 is undefined, right? Now all I do again is just track back. So root 3, 1, um, 1 over, oh, my pen is dying. I'm going to switch up the pen. Right. My pen is dying. Let's bring out another guy. Well, this should work. Let's see. Yep. Square root of 3, 1 over, where were we? So we're here, boing, boing square root of 3 and 0 and always if you're going to write a test bring multiple pens right and then we're going to go back again 1 over root 3 1 square root of 3 undefined back again root 3 1 1 over root 3 0 right and all I have to worry about now is where is tan negative tan is sine divided by cos so over here in the first quadrant they're both positive. Positive over positive is positive. Over in the second quadrant, sine is positive, cos is negative, so tan is negative, right? Positive divided by negative is negative. In the third quadrant, we got negative divided by negative, that's positive. In the fourth quadrant, we got negative divided by positive, that's negative, right? Negative, negative, negative. Okay. And that's how you generate the you know special triangles unit circle and the trigonometric table and what we would do is put this on the side and bring back our test and start doing our tests and we're going to end up using this a lot and when we start doing problems questions we're going to refer to this a lot okay so keep this thing in mind because uh, this is extremely handy learn how to generate it now in the next video, what we're going to do, we're going to generate this uh, without any commentary as if you would in a test because uh, you really don't want to speak out, uh, uh, you know, in a test, verbally say everything that you're doing. So we'll generate this uh, really quickly and you'll see how fast you can do it. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.